So OpenAI recently released the GPT-4.1 models, and in this blog post, there's a specific characteristic of these models that you should know about, which allows you to build much more sophisticated AI solutions. If we scroll down on this model, you will see that there were three new models, GPT-4.1, as well as its mini and nano variants. But all of these models have a context length of 1 million tokens. If you don't know what a token is, it's approximately three-fourths of a single word. Now, that is incredibly impressive, and I'm going to show you why. In the past, a lot of these best frontier models had a token window of 4,000 tokens. Now, this token window has to be shared in the entire conversation. So you can imagine that as a conversation where the bot goes on and on, you will hit this token limit. What's even worse, there are a lot of use cases where you need to provide information to the GPT model that is up to date and accurate. Think of a result from a web search or some kind of legal documentation. This is really when researchers and engineers came up with the RAG paradigm, Retrieval Augmented Generation. And the idea of RAG is that you find the most relevant documents to inject into this context window. The advantage here is that you don't include irrelevant context and you only include what you need to answer a given question. But even then, having only 4,000 tokens is quite limiting, right? You're going to run into that limitation very quickly. So that's when a lot of models actually started to double in size. So instead of 4,000 tokens, the entire conversation could hold 8,000 tokens. And the advantage here is that you can actually apply the exact same paradigms like RAG and injecting documentation, but now you have a lot more breathing room, right? This gives you the opportunity to include larger chunks and documentation. But here too, we ran into limitations. So then models got another quite significant jump from 8,000 tokens, pretty much always to something like 32,000 tokens. And now we're getting into the space where new use cases are unlocked. So for example, with 32,000 tokens, an coding agent becomes a lot more realistic. So this is where we see a lot of coding agents pop up in the field. Because with 32,000 tokens, you can include quite some different files of a coding repository for a chatbot to help you with. So this is a great start because with this amount of tokens, we can get quite far. But now we have the problem that we want to connect AI systems to other tools. For this, we have the newer paradigm of using MCP servers, Model Context Protocol. Now, the difficulty with this is that as you include more tools and these tools get called, the amount of tokens that you need in the conversation often increases quite a lot. For example, if you have an MCP tool that can search the web, when it pulls information from the web, that might be a whole web page with a bunch of HTML that the model needs to be able to store in the conversation memory. So basically there, you will get into limitations again, even though 32,000 tokens is quite large. Now, there are some models in between where you've got something in the middle of 8,000 and 32,000 tokens, and there's also you know, models that have approximately 60,000 tokens of context window length. But now we have these newer models that have a million tokens as their context window. And that is quite impressive. I'm gonna to try to visualize it properly, but that's quite difficult because a million tokens is just that much. But you can imagine that this is approximately what you can expect in terms of a size increase. I think this is actually conservative. I think actually I need to zoom out even more and probably make it as large as you know, half my screen here, something like this is probably a bit more accurate. So this just shows you that a million tokens is quite a lot. Now, what can you actually achieve with models that can have this much in their context? Well, now it's actually possible to have coding agents that, for example, take in an entire small repository in their context window. You don't always want to do this because that's actually going to be pretty expensive when you're hitting APIs, but it is possible. And the fact that that's possible is quite amazing. But even if you have a more traditional AI use case, like a Q&A chatbot, having access to a million token window is quite great for a different reason. You don't have to perfect your search anymore. When we only had 4,000 or 8,000 tokens, we pretty much had to make sure that our search mechanism worked perfectly. Because if we missed the most relevant documents, a question couldn't be answered anymore. But with a million tokens, 
I mean, you can include twice, even three times the amount of documentation easily without incurring that many more costs. And you will have much more of a chance of actually hitting the right documents to answer a user's question without having to optimize the search engine that's behind it. And that is amazing because it means that you can create new proof of concepts and new actual scenarios for your AI solutions much faster than before. You don't have to perfect the search mechanisms around your AI anymore. You can actually make use of the incredibly large context window to create a proof of concept faster. I'm not saying that previous paradigms like retrieval, augmented generation are dead, but rather that you have to optimize them less in the initial proof of concept phase because of these models with huge context windows. So that's really the main message that I want to share. And I hope that you go out and try these models for yourself just to see how amazing it is to be able to work with such a large context window. And if you want to learn more AI engineering, you should definitely check out the community in the link below. I hope to see you there.